all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're gonna be talking about a man that decided to become a woman just to kick a woman's ass all right here's one thing i really just don't understand about this situation let's say one day you get sent off to a men's prison you walk into prison and you start bragging to all them guys like, yo, fellas, I just kicked the shit out of a woman. She was much smaller than me. She couldn't defend herself. But trust me, guys, I took care of her, okay? If that was you, if that was something you decided to do in today's society, bro, you are going to be fucking delimbed in that prison. You are not going to live to see the light of day. It's not acceptable to beat the shit out of woman as a man. But if you're a man and you decide to become a trans gender just to kick the shit out of women like now that's acceptable that's something we fucking encourage i don't get this dude i honestly do not understand and one more thing guys before we get into the actual article is that it's always a man going to a woman's sports for instance it's always kevin becoming casey if you know what i'm trying to say here but like you never hear of a woman transitioning into a man that wants to step up into men's sports okay that's just something that doesn't happen Anyways, fellas, before I get too far off track here, if you like hot moms, big tits, fat ass, you guys know what I'm trying to say here, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it, fellas. So the article starts off by saying, Elena McLaughlin, the second openly transgender woman to compete in MMA in the US, won her debut Friday night via submission. The 38-year-old used a rear naked choke against Celine Provost to end the match in 3 minutes and 32 seconds. McLaughlin, who began her gender transition after leaving the U.S. Army Special Forces, okay? I want you guys to take that into consideration, by the way. This man was in the fucking U.S. Army Special Forces. What is that? Like the fucking Green Berets? The Black Ops or something? Like, this guy's not some puny fucking loser that has twig arms, okay? I'll go ahead and throw some pictures up on screen here. Take a look at him and then take a look at his opponent. It's clearly not even close to being a fair matchup. You know, guys, when this article got released, I saw an overwhelming amount of support for the transgender. I was seeing a lot of comments like, oh my God, this person is so courageous. They're taking a huge leap of faith. I really began to question myself. I thought I was actually losing my fucking own mental sanity. I thought I was the crazy one here, okay? Until I saw King Jaw tweet out, that's a whole ass nigga, bruh, and my faith in humanity was restored at that very instance, okay? McLaughlin began training a year ago and was cleared to fight by the Florida State Boxing Commission after having her hormone levels tested. She said it was a nightmare finding an opponent. Like, no shit, you don't say that. It's almost as if women aren't out here trying to fight men, okay? It's one thing if men and women want to compete in Call of Duty. Like, you don't have a physical advantage over one another in that situation. But you're talking about an actual fighting, a gladiator sport... Something that involves like raw power, explosiveness. If you're going to be a trans athlete competing in women's leagues, at least pick something that's going to be a little bit more fair. You know, soccer, basketball. I don't know, man. Just not fucking fighting of all sports you can choose from. Another thing I just really don't understand is like, if there's going to be so many transgenders in the year 2021, why don't we just have transgender leagues at this point? Like pretty soon, dude, there's going to be a lot of kids in middle and high school that are becoming trans athletes. Why don't we just go ahead and start making a fucking league for them, okay? Some of you may not agree with me and you think that they should just be able to compete in whatever league they want, and that's fine, you know, you can have your own thoughts, but just know you're fucking wrong, okay? You're fucking wrong, and let me explain to you why a transgender league is truly the best option for our future, okay? Gender fluidity is a thing, you know, whether we want to admit it or not, you don't have to respect it, but you have to admit that it is something that people think is actually real. Someday, a kid is going to wake up before school and feel like a woman, so that way when they leave the house in the morning, they are fully prepared to play on the softball team that afternoon. Lunchtime rolls around, oh shit, you know what, the woman thing, just not really feeling it right now, bro. 
I'm going to go ahead and go back to being a man. Now I have to practice with the boys on the baseball team. See where things can get a little bit complex there, guys. If you just have a transgender league, you can pick out whatever fucking gender you want today, Billy. Now you don't have to worry about which baseball team or softball team you're going to be practicing with tonight. The article then goes on to say, Her debut comes as multiple states argue bills aimed at restricting transgender athletes from participating in youth, high school, and college sports. If we want to see more trans athletes, if we want to see more opportunities for trans kids, we're going to have to work out way in... Oh, nice. Whatever fucking retard wrote this article needs to be fired. Anyways, it's trying to say that if they want trans kids to be in sports nowadays, the adult trans have to work their way into those sports positions. It's time for trans folks to be in sports and to be more normalized. Yeah, man, see, here's the thing, okay? I don't have a problem. I truly do not have a problem if trans kids, trans adults, trans whoever the fuck you want to be today, if they want to compete in sports, I'm all for that. As you guys know, I'm a huge sports junkie. I love football and I love basketball, but just make it fair. That's literally all I ask. Do you know why the varsity football team doesn't ever play against the seventh grade football team? Yeah, it would be a little bit fucking unfair, okay? You have like the biggest kid in seventh grade is going to be like 180 pounds. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas i'm not gonna lie it's been a little tough out here for a pimp okay the internet has been dry as hell as of lately like dude we really just need some good beef or an e-girl to show her butthole again on twitch like come on man just give me something at least Anyways, guys, today we're going to be talking about the new wave of feminism, and all I ask is that if you are a relatively smart individual, please just do yourself a favor, click off the video. You can only watch so many smooth-brained, one-brain-cell-have-an-ass individuals before you become one, okay? Like, bro, I'm really out here sacrificing my own mind and body watching this stupid-ass content and also making out with some hot moms, okay? I think that deserves a subscription to the Dr. Bolo channel. Leave a like on the video as well if you're not a pussy and let's get straight into it fellas. So many women in our office have the exact same problem. You know we just sit there absolutely freezing at our desks trying to type. Um, you can probably tell I've got a cold right now which I blame all on the AC. Listen I don't even know where the fuck to begin okay but all I'm gonna say is that we have men and women who work in construction. They're welders. They're fucking asphalt layers. They lay goddamn bricks for a living. They work in heat of like 135 degrees meanwhile you're inside complaining about the ac being a little cold your fingers are cold while you're typing on the keyboard give me a fucking break okay just when you think you've seen it all bro some dumbass shit like this gets said on the internet it gets a little bit of publicity next thing you know here we are fucking talking about sexist air conditioning like do you realize what the fuck you actually typed on that screen right there that shit sounds so stupid man what a waste of my fucking time dude what a fucking waste. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, one of the biggest problems is that often in offices, it is men who control temperatures. You know, that's just something I've found anecdotally because majority of the men in offices seem to be absolutely fine with the temperatures. You know, women kind of just sit there on the corner feeling absolutely frozen. And, you know, often like actually nothing's being done to help them. And, you know, it might sound like a bit of a silly, lighthearted issue, but actually it's really uncomfortable being freezing at your desk every day. Um, take it from me. So I know a lot of you guys are probably sitting there wondering like, oh my God, Dr. Bolo, how do these women live? How are they able to survive in the, in the cold and harsh temperatures of their own fucking office work environment while sitting in their comfy ass chairs, typing away on their keyboard, smelling the scent of a vanilla candle. Here's the thing, okay? I actually found out about this really cool invention the other day. It was actually made back in the 1800s. I guess a lot of people just don't know about it now. Um, um, it's called a fucking jacket, okay? If you're a little bit cold, that's typically what you wear. It warms you up a little bit, keeps that internal body temperature closer to you. You know, I mean, I really shouldn't have to explain this. I never thought I'd be here in this situation when I made a YouTube channel. And if you're really feeling crazy, fellas, all right, go ahead and prepare yourself for what I'm about to say. <laughs> Hold your goddamn pants up. If your fingers are cold, they actually have this really cool thing called gloves. You put them over your goddamn hands, woman. I don't know what else to tell you. 
Like, this is really simple shit, bro. Even kindergartners understand if their hands are cold at recess. Oh, mommy sent me some gloves. Let me put them on. Bada bing, bada fucking boom. My fingers are no longer as cold. Rather than having just like, I don't know, maybe a little bit of fucking common sense, you guys actually hired a research team just to tell you that the thermostat is a little on the cold side in the office environment. The funny thing is, though, is that if the thermostat was set a little bit warmer in the office, bitches would still fucking complain about that. They'd be up their boss's ass like, oh my god, it's just so hot in here. Like, I'm sorry, dude, but fucking feminists, they will complain about anything on this goddamn planet. Oh my god, I don't like the way you looked at me. Oh my god, the office is... Like, do you guys understand how fucking annoying that is? Sometimes it's good to look back on your life and realize, you know, damn, maybe I don't have it that bad. At the end of the day, all I do is type on a goddamn keyboard in an office. Meanwhile, I could be working, I don't know, outdoors where it's like negative 14 in the winter and 120 in the summer. I think these women would actually fucking explode if that was the case, bro. Things would not be going good. This story honestly reminds me of the time I was playing football as a freshman in high school, and this is a true story, by the way, guys. So the down had just ended, and our coach decided to call a timeout because one kid in particular was really having a bad time. He was freaking out over nothing. Coach calls timeout. Everyone runs over to the sideline, and we're all asking him, like, bro, what's wrong with you? What's going on, man? Deadass, bro. This kid looked my coach in the eyes who's like a fucking bodybuilder this man is jacked by the way and he tells him hey coach i don't think i'm gonna be able to play today man my fingers are a little cold my coach blew a goddamn gasket he had an actual brain aneurysm as soon as he heard that stupid shit come out of his mouth so then my coach being the smart ass that he was offered for the kid to go up and sit in the stands with his mother which the kid actually did by the way he straight up I can't believe I'm saying this, bro. He took his fucking pads off, walked up them bleachers, and sat with his mom for the rest of the game, okay? And after that, coach just told him, you know what? Maybe it's just best you don't come back to practice. And that was the end of that story. I don't know why, but something with the fucking cold hands, the cold fingers, being a pussy. Yeah, that that just reminded me of, you know, what I'm trying to say here, guys. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fantastic members. We have Nico. Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, your support is appreciated. Much, much fucking appreciated, by the way. If you would like to become a member yourself, just click that blue join button next to my name. But guys, more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas i'm not even gonna lie okay it's been a little bit of a rough day i lost in every single one of my fantasy football leagues the chiefs just lost to the ravens i'm not even kidding you guys i punched the air for about 30 minutes today but then i remembered i have one calling in life and something that actually can bring me joy in a time of depression and darkness and that is uh <laughs> writing prescriptions for these fucking hoes, okay? My hand don't get cramps writing prescriptions. Keep that in mind, fellas. Anyways, today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the industry's most profound models. Now look, I'm not supposed to make fun of people's appearances, I'm not really about that, but all I'm gonna say here is, uh, if you were to ask about a six-year-old boy to draw their dream girl, yeah, bro, this is exactly what she'd look like, okay? Big fucking gazungas, a giant fucking caboose on her, it's almost as if she looks like Donald Duck in the face and a Walmart ball pit on the chest, I mean, dude, this This is just straight up nasty, okay? If you're into this shit, you need help. Please, please go see a psychiatrist, man. Like, I understand some of you guys out there enjoy watching anime, but dude, this is, this is not healthy whatsoever, man. Anyways, guys, if you happen to enjoy today's video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it, fellas. But was that your goal from the beginning? Like, no. just to get in so many surgeries that everybody would have to talk about you? Because that's the thing. I'm actually introverted. Like, I, like, I know it doesn't seem that way, but, like, I I have multiple personalities. I, I Like, if it wasn't for, um, 
me having OnlyFans, you know, I wouldn't even give a fuck about being on Instagram or anything like that. Like, I just... Did she really just say that? Like, dude, are you fucking kidding me right now? You're trying to tell me the girl with quadruple G titties doesn't need attention from anyone else. Yeah, okay. Let me guess. You got the giant balloons on your chest to improve your own self-esteem. Okay, you know what? You can just go ahead and take one of these own goddamn prescriptions for yourself. You've been prescribed a hoe. I don't know what else to tell you at this point. That is the dumbest shit I have actually ever heard in my life. Um, the day of my 18th birthday was when I turned to become a stripper. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so you were just doing massages but then fucking them? I wouldn't fuck them. I was just doing, um, I think sometimes I sucked it. I forgot, but that I... <laughs> what a great lifestyle. Am I right here, fellas? Her father did a fantastic job raising her. Oh, oh, wait, wait. You clearly don't have a fucking father, okay? If that was the case, you guys missed this part, by the way. She talks about how she started giving blowies and doing cocaine at the age of 12. Here she is a couple years later giving out free handies on Craigslist. And the day she turns 18, she becomes a stripper. Listen, fellas, I'm not even going to try and make any jokes here. This is just straight up fucking sad, okay? When did we allow these young women to set their standards so fucking low? Like, I know sometimes I exaggerate a little bit okay i can admit that but there are actually girls out there today that are becoming astrophysicists and scientists doctors and lawyers and then you have things like this all right i know your standards were low but holy shit okay i don't think any of us expected them to be quite that goddamn low i mean but like i mean that's not i just like the aesthetic of surgeries and looking like I love it yeah I love cock yeah you know I, but I, that's not my entire persona mm. like I don't need to there's a lot more to me than my surgeries and fucking being this and that Excuse me, is this the same woman that said she's totally fine not having an Instagram or getting attention whatsoever? Oh, okay, yeah, thought I'd just go ahead and clear that the fuck up. This makes no goddamn sense. You know what, guys? This is actually pretty insulting, okay? It's, it's nothing more than a fucking spit in my face. I'd have more respect for this woman if she came on the podcast and said, You know what, Dr. Bolo and all your viewers? I'm a huge attention whore. I love when men give me money, but more importantly, attention, all right? And if she just came out and said that sentence right there, I'd have much more respect for her. Instead, she came out here, told a bold-faced lie straight to your face, straight to my face, okay? That's an insult to our intelligence. No girl with quadruple G titties and a low-cut shirt that fucking low be out here not wanting attention, you know what I'm saying? It's like the equivalent of when a girl wears a thong to the public pool and then gets mad when guys look at her ass. What the hell do you expect? I mean, that's like saying, if a duck walks through the woods with a boner, is it gonna leave a trail behind him? I think it's pretty fucking obvious at this point. Let me go ahead and give you guys a little word of advice, alright? If you're going to claim that you don't like getting attention from men, oh, I don't know, maybe I'd start with, uh, not having watermelon-sized fucking boobs, and on top of that, oh, I don't know, maybe just not having 45 fucking surgeries and half a million dollars invested into your goddamn curves, but what do I know, honestly, right? Like, I'm just some dude talking into a microphone on YouTube. Wh whatever, whatever. Really hide the fact that you've basically, like, transformed yourself into the sex yeah, I, robot. I, I look like people see me, they already assume I'm, like, a sex worker, this and that. Wait, you? No, there's no way people are actually thinking that just by looking at you. All right, before I end off today's video, I already know there's going to be someone down in the comments section below, probably because I censored her sacks of silicone. Listen here, buddy, all right? Susan is not really cooperating with me at the moment. She is huh, not on very good terms with my channel. It is what it is. I'm not trying to get my channel terminated overnight, but I mean, if you want to do your own research, you're always welcome to. If you're on a phone, you clearly have access to Google at this point. Go ahead, just type in the search bar Mary Magdalene or however the hell you pronounce her name. Anyways, go do your own research, you sick fuck out here trying to jack off to watching Call of Duty in the background. You need mental help, bro. You seriously need to go see a fucking doctor. And anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I wanna give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Nico, Dirt Gro, 
Dub, Danny Kemper, Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Your guys' support is very much fucking appreciated. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today we're going to be talking about a pretty disgusting TikTok trend. I'm going to lay this down right here at the beginning of the video. I have yet to see anything that's, uh, I don't know, impressive, intelligent on TikTok, alright? When it comes to these trends, it really seems to be something more like how many gummy bears can you shove in your butthole, how many pencils can you steal from your teacher, and how many tires can you slash on a Saturday afternoon. Anyways, I'm sure most of you are aware with the process of buying a used car, alright? You look at the year it was made, you look at how many miles are on the engine, you look at a couple other factors, and that helps you determine if the price is worth it or not. Well, this process of buying a used car has been slightly altered by your local e-thoughts and it kind of just gives you some information about them here i'll go ahead and show you guys an example real quick All right, after watching that video, I'm sure most of you have gathered enough information to understand what's actually going on here. Basically, when it comes to this previous owner's trend on TikTok, they all follow the same format. First, you put your previous owners. This is the number of different relationships you've been in. Next is going to be your mileage, and this is by far the most important thing that dudes are looking for when they click on your TikTok. That's the number of people you slept with, okay? Pretty much everything else on this list is obsolete besides the year that's a good one to pay attention to guys i'm sure you'd like to know what age that female is before you try and interact with her unless you're edp unless you're edp then you know who, who honestly cares at that point you're just looking to get a cupcake which speaking of you know edp 445 if you happen to be watching this video right now could you please hit up the kansas city chiefs we really need a defensive lineman that's like just shy of 500 pounds to help stop the run defense dude we are struggling out here at the moment. Anyways, let's look at some examples here, fellas. So starting us off here, this woman says she has had two previous owners. She's been leased a few times, you know, whatever that means, right? Probably a little bit of swinging going on. She has 47 miles. Okay, yeah, there, there better be some swinging going on here, bro. This is somebody's mom, by the way. Imagine going on TikTok and finding out your mother's had 47 different salamis inside her mouth. Yeah, bro, I don't know if I want to be seeing that, okay? Her condition is also a little used i would hate i would truly hate to find out what is considered a lot of use to this woman anyways let's go ahead and move on to our second thought of the day who says she has four previous owners a hundred a hundred and two miles holy shit bro do these girls just go out and getting gang bangs all the what the fuck is going on man and also, I don't mean to be rude here by any means necessary, but I'm starting to notice a trend inside of the trend. The less attractive the woman is, the higher the body count appears to be, alright? That's something even I couldn't have predicted. Anyways, I really have two main issues with the previous owner's TikTok trend. First is that there's a lot of young girls on TikTok. I don't need to know how many dudes these 11-year-olds are sleeping with. It's actually pretty fucked up if you think about it. Like, I understand that zoomers are willing to do anything for a little bit of clout on the internet but it's actually sad if you think about it like most gen z would rather get a thousand views on tiktok than a hundred percent on their math quiz I don't care how many views you get on your stupid ass TikTok, that doesn't change the fact that you're 12 years old out here telling a bunch of grown men on the internet how many dudes you've had up in them walls. That's fucking disgusting, okay? Look at this girl right here. This was one of the first search results I found whenever I searched up the previous owner's trend. Like, young lady, where the hell are your parents right now? Where is your father? Would your father be proud of you posting this video out there on the internet? I mean, I would hope not, but more importantly, guys, let's do a little bit of critical thinking real quick. What demographic do you guys think is looking up the previous owner's trend? Do you really believe it's a bunch of other 15 year old girls? Yeah, I didn't think so, okay? It's a bunch of old fucking sad, lonely incel men. It's disgusting. Why would you put this shit out there on the internet? I just truly don't understand. 
Anyways, do you guys know how women always claim that they don't want to be seen as an object or property? They want to be seen as an actual human? Yeah, go ahead and name me something more objectifying than this fucking thing right here. I just don't understand how you can be okay with letting dudes practically shop you around on the internet like you're a used sex doll, but then turn around the next day and say that you want to be treated fairly just like everyone else. I know there's a lot of people out there that think I just have something out for women. I just, I hate women with a passion. I can't stand them. I'm some incel. That's really not the case, okay? I know I exaggerate a little bit in my videos, but that's because it makes it funnier. I don't hate women by any means necessary, but if you're gonna act like an object, you should be treated like a fucking object. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, believe it or not, fellas, there's actually some women out there I have respect for. Here, I'll go ahead and give you guys an example. Rosa Parks. Okay, do you really believe Grandma Rosa be out here flopping that ass around on TikTok telling everyone how many dudes she's had inside her? Yeah, I didn't think so. That's why people respect Rosa and not girls on TikTok. Guys, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I'm not even a fucking father, and I've had enough of this shit, dude. I couldn't even imagine. I literally couldn't even imagine having a daughter in today's society. And guys, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG It's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your fucking support. It means everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today we're going to be taking a look at a very, very angry mother. I know we've all seen a Karen reaction in real life that's honestly pretty normal nowadays. Sad to even say that. But typically when we see a Karen, I'd say like her natural habitat is something along the lines of Walmart or Target. Not today though, not today. Instead, this is going to be taking place in front of the school board members at her local school district. Now before we get into the actual video, I'll say, you know, we've all freaked out over something, right? I mean, I, I can't be the only one here and neither is this woman. Like I'll even give you guys an example. I'll never forget the time I said the F word in front of my own mother for the very first time. I hated getting vaccinations as a kid. I absolutely hated getting shots for some reason. Now it doesn't bother me. I'm not a pussy anymore. But you know, back then when you're like five, six years old, things are just a little bit different. Well, anyways, one day Doc comes in the room. He's like, hey, mom, you know, your son is eligible for these two vaccines. Do you want him to get them? And my mom said, yeah, you know, that'd be great. In the back of my mind, I was fuming. I was fucking pissed. I was actually punching the air inside my own head. And then as soon as the Doc steps out of the room, I look at my mother with the nastiest stare on my face and I say, I ain't taking no fucking shot, all right? I, I actually, now that I look back at it, I can't believe I said that at the age of six years old. Anyways, the point that I'm trying to make, fellas, is that we've all overreacted before. It's human nature. It happens. Once the situation's done, you'll look back and be like, damn, you know, I was kind of a fucking idiot. I really hope that's how this woman felt whenever she left the school board meeting. But without wasting any more goddamn time, fellas, subscribe, leave a like on the video if you're not a pussy, and let's get into it. Take her out back, we boys figured, then hand on the titties. Put it in her coin box, put it in her cornhole, grab a hold of that braid, rub that calico. You can find that on page 39. For some reason, dude, I just hate when people make this face right here, okay? To me, it just screams like, I'm trying to be a bitch in the nicest way possible. Like, if you're gonna be an asshole, let's not beat around the bush, okay? Just come out here, tell the room how you're really feeling, grab this bull by the horns, and just let it fly. Now, one other thing I want you guys to be aware of is that this is just some random book in the library sitting on the shelf, not bothering anyone, right? It's probably been there for 35 years. Now, all of a sudden, now it's a big deal. This verb form to cornhole, which came into usage in the 1930s, means to have anal sex. I do not want my children to learn Thank about you. anal sex in middle school. I have never had anal sex. Thank I don't want to have anal sex. I don't want my Hard kids having anal sex. Stone. I want you to start focusing on education and not public Hard health. Stone, not public you're health. on.
All right, well, now you guys understand where things really started to take a turn for the worst. I'm not going to lie. I truly couldn't imagine being this butt hurt over some butt stuff, if you know what I'm saying. First, you come out here swing and say, I've never done butt stuff. Well, that's a lie. Like, ma'am, don't sit here and try to convince me that you never experimented a little in high school. I mean, I know a lot of dudes that have at least had a finger in the booty hole, okay? It's not something we're proud of. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's not something we're proud of, but I mean, it happened. It happened without, you know, with or without consent. It it happened. Anyways, your next claim is that you don't want your children doing booty hole stuff, and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. They're in middle school. They shouldn't be doing that kind of activity, but like at the end of the day, it's just a book. I think if this woman went through her children's search history on Google, she would probably have a brain aneurysm and just pop like a fucking balloon and pass out. Anyways, it would really be one thing, in my opinion, if the kids were forced to read this, you know, the teacher assigned it to them, but they didn't. And it's not. It's not forced at all, okay? This was literally a book sitting on the bookshelf in the library. Your kid just so happened to come home with it one day, and next thing you know, you're being a crazy fucking psycho parent reading their books. I couldn't imagine being that big of a loser. I mean, it's not inevitable that if your kids read one passage that talks about doing a little bit of the dirty, next thing you know, they're going to be shoving fists and fingers and everything else where they don't belong. That's just not how it works, okay? Like, honestly, what middle schooler is out here getting off to the thought of putting your corn on the cob in a cornhole, you know? Now, if the teacher was displaying graphic images up on the smart board for everyone to see, I could understand that, you know? That's a little bit of a different scenario. However, the fact the fact that she got this mad about a fucking book just shows me she's still living in middle school, bro. She got off work, right? She put all this time and effort into doing some research, which I didn't show you guys. It's, it's, it's too goddamn boring, I'm not gonna lie. But she did all this research after a hard day's work, took time out of her afternoon that she could be spending, oh, I don't know, with her children? And instead, she wants to drive up to the school board and get mad about a book. This woman just honestly needs to reevaluate her whole life. She's got too much free time on her hands, bro. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG, it's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly, though, fellas, more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're going to be talking about possibly the weirdest and craziest thing i've ever heard of inside the bedroom and let's be honest here we've all done something we're not proud of all right once you're on that whole nother level of horny like something just happens bro something inside you it literally just takes over your body and then the post nut reality kicks in and you're an entirely different person it's almost like you levitate above your body and just think about what the fuck you actually just did like i said we've all done something we're not proud of i've done it you've done it and this guy that we're about to read about his girlfriend is trying to get him to do it anyways guys if you're not a pussy subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and without wasting any more goddamn time let's get into it so this guy starts off the post by asking a question am i being a pussy and you know <laughs> i gotta give it to him that's an attention grabber if i've ever seen one my girlfriend 19 female wants me 20 male to hold a glock a fucking gun to her head while we're having oh my god what the <laughs> What am I about to read? I've been taught gun safety since I was six years old. I'm not sure how to go about this. I don't want to do it, but every time she sees it, she says, you should hold this to my head while you rail me. What do I do? Hey, fellas, I'm just saying a finger in the booty hole. That, that don't sound too bad now, does it? So essentially, this guy's girlfriend is just looking to get a Glock to her ear hole while he hits it from behind. I can't say. I can't say I've ever been in this situation. It is very out there. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've seen a lot of weird shit, man. Like I said earlier, sometimes a horny takes over. You watch a video you're not proud of. Once the reality kicks in, you're like, fuck that. Okay, I'm deleting my history. Uh, hell, I'll even delete my Google account right now. I do not want to see that again. Yeah, this is just different. 
This is very, very out there, okay? So to answer the title of his post, am I being a puss, bro? I don't think so. To me, it just sounds like you ain't out here trying to catch a lawsuit, you know what I'm saying? Like if for whatever reason you did something, you upset your girlfriend, maybe you guys even break up one day, you know the first thing she's gonna fall back on? Hey, uh, do you remember that one time you held a Glock to my face while you fucked me in the ass? Like, yeah, I don't think that's a good decision, bro, okay? She might like it, she might want it, do not fall into that trap. Sometimes you follow through with an action, you know, it might be a good decision to just like step back a little bit and ask yourself, well, what could honestly go wrong here in this situation? Honestly, this kind of reminds me of a story that happened about five years ago and it actually involved a YouTuber here on the platform. I'm not exactly sure what this guy was trying to prove, but basically what happened is he was going to hold some books out in front of his face and he wanted his girlfriend to shoot those books with a fucking desert eagle, right? One of the most powerful pistols on the face of the goddamn planet. Anyways, she shot the book, bullet clearly went through whatever fucking book he was holding up, hit him in the face, and actually fucking killed him, man. It's actually pretty sad when you think about it. Obviously, his girlfriend didn't know any better at the time, and the guy clearly had some faith in whatever fucking book he was holding up. Yeah, it's just not a good idea, bro. There's literally nothing good you get out of that situation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might get a couple clicks on YouTube, but is it worth your fucking life? And just like in this situation, other other than getting your dick wet for all of 90 seconds, what good is possibly going to come out of this? Like, even if the gun's completely unloaded, you know, there's a 0% chance of bullets coming out of this thing. When it's all said and done, are you going to look back at this and say, you know what, that was a good decision to hold a fucking Glock to my girlfriend's head. Listen, dude, I don't think you're a pussy because you're not willing to do this. If anything, your girlfriend's expectations are just a little far out there for most people. And like I said earlier, if anything ever goes south, with this relationship, what's gonna be the first thing she runs to the police and tells him, you know? If anything, if anything, I think you've got bigger issues on your hand, okay? It sounds like your girl wants to be fucking pimped on the side, and on top of that, she's probably gonna leave you for a fucking gangbang one day. I mean, unless you like getting cucked, I'd suggest you just get the hell out of this relationship, okay? This bitch is fucking crazy, dude. She's fucking crazy. You know what? Here, send her to my office. I'll write her prescription right now. You've been prescribed a goddamn ho. If anything, dude, I'd honestly just rather dress up as anime characters and do some uwu shit. Or hell, I'll even dress up as that teddy bear from Bella Delphine's OnlyFans video. But when it comes to doing something like this, this is this is off limits for me, bro. Nothing but red flags here. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys will have to let me know your opinions down in the comments section below. I mean, am I the only one that's crazy here? Am I the only one? Okay, I surely... Surely I fucking hope not. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG It's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your fucking support. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Imagine talking I mean, shit, saying GG round yeah, one, then I take a fucking fat L. You're a bunch of stupid ass kids. Dude, Mo and Pete suck. Yeah, Mo and Pete suck. Yeah, Mo and Pete suck. Mo and Pete suck. Mo and Pete suck. Shut up, you guys. You got a donut, two and six. Go to bed, you dumb one. Go to bed, you dumb one. I guarantee I'll win. You suck dick, and it's okay. Oh, yes! Let's fucking go, dude. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today We're gonna be talking about an OnlyFans model that claims to have been in the bedroom with God Listen, I'm not saying she's a liar or anything like that I'll give her the benefit of the doubt for now, but I am kind of saying like that's a bold statement, bro Like that's a that's a little far out there more importantly though I really hope this article gives us some good information cuz I can't lie I've always kind of wondered like yo is God a booty guy is got into them booties anyways if you happen to enjoy the video today and you think that hot moms are pretty cool be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content leave a like on the video and without wasting any more goddamn time let's get into it here fellas now i'm sure most of you know by now but my holy trinity the holy trinity of the dock is actually a hot mom that's blonde and has big tits okay that's actually my biggest weakness 
With that being said, if we take a look at the visual evidence here, you'll see that she checks all my boxes. However, I don't know, man. There's just, something's throwing me off here. I don't know if it's her fucking face. I, I'm not being mean, okay? I'm not being mean. But, dude, something is fucking throwing me for a loop right now. Like, I'm not trying to sit up here and say that she's absolutely fucking busted, all right? I don't think that's the case. However, I will say, if she was a teacher, you know, she'd be up there, okay? She'd be a little bit higher up on that scale. I think we can all agree here when it comes to being a teacher, the scale of hotness is just a little bit more forgiving for them, all right? Anyways, the article starts off here by saying, The Colorado cam mom, who previously claimed that God wants her to strip on OnlyFans, has also confessed to knowing the Heavenly Father in the biblical sense. In threesomes with a deity and her husband, that is. I'm sorry, but the way that was phrased right there, it just made it sound like God is actually fucking cucking her husband. Anyways, anyways, moving on here. Nita Marie, 45 years old, now says she's experiencing heaven in a sexual trinity with her husband and the almighty. A sacred and spiritual menage a trois, she said. I'm just, I have no fucking idea how to pronounce that, okay? I don't even know what the hell that actually means. There is nothing more fulfilling or satisfying than when you experience God's love for you while pleasuring your partner, whose corporeal partner has not been revealed in the interest of their family's privacy. Yeah, I honestly can't blame this dude for wanting to keep his name and identity private because, you know, if my wife was some OnlyFans model that just so happens to be batshit crazy while claiming to take the cock of God, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think I'd want my name released to the public either, you know? What if you have to find a new job one day? They're gonna look your name up on the internet and they're gonna ask you some questions like, hey, bro, what's up with your wife wanting to suck the fucking Lord off? I don't get it, dude. I honestly don't. This is something that you just... You just don't think about this shit, man. It's like thinking about your grandma naked. Yeah, it happens. It's a thing. But are you supposed to sit around and think about it? Talk about how much pleasure you're getting? No! Hell no! I, at least I hope not. If you are, please go see a fucking doctor, dude. I, I'm begging you, okay? I'm actually begging you. You need help. Anyways, the article then goes on to say, The Sanctimonious Stripper. Wow! Wow, we are really getting off with the alliteration today. The Sanctimonious Stripper made headlines last month for declaring that her racy TikTok persona is what God wants me to do. Now, Marie tells Jam Press that she wants to continue to share the good word of her Lord and Savior between the sheets. Yeah, you see, that's not really something you do, okay? God doesn't necessarily encourage you to show your butthole on the internet to a bunch of strangers. Sometimes, you know, like, we all get caught up in the moment. It happens. It's life. We all do it. But sometimes, it's best to just take a step back and ask yourself, you know, is this really something God wants? God really wants me to fuck a bunch of other strangers and talk about the Bible in between sessions? Yeah, I don't really know about that one, okay? That's some we're gonna have to get fact-checked. But I will say, I'm actually really curious to learn how she's spreading the word of God between the sheets. Is it like some dude drives his dick up inside them walls and she's like, oh, Proverbs 13, 15. Or like, does she just listen to Christian music while she gets her asshole fisted? I don't know, man, okay? These are questions I need the answer to. I'm not gonna lie, fellas, how sick would it be if one day, maybe her and her husband are running a little late for church, it's a Sunday morning, they don't think they're gonna make it on time, they decide, you know what, let's just stay home, let's stay home today, we may not be going into the building of church, however, let's get the word of God in, and that's when they start fornicating in the bedroom, next thing you know, she's about a bust like the biggest volcano on earth, but right before that happens, her husband gets on one knee and pulls out a Bible and says, says, Devil, get out of this woman! Leave my wife! I can see the evil you've brought inside her, and now it's time for you to leave through her goddamn pussy! <laughs> hey, I think I found my second calling in life, fellas. One day, one day you might just log on to YouTube and see Pastor Bolo. You never know what might happen. Anyways, fellas, moving on with the article here, it goes on to say, Her humble prayer, said out loud or in thought, invites God to be a part of their lovemaking. It's then up to God's power to bring forth great sex and heavenly orgasms, according to Marie. Alright, well, I just went out and did a 
little bit more research, fellas, and I can't deny this was pretty uneventful. I was expecting a lot more, as you guys can probably tell by now. Apparently, just like twice a week before her and her husband get down in the sheets, she just says a prayer and invites God to fuck her brain. I don't know, man. I don't know what she says in the prayer, but all she does is she prays before her and her husband get into it, and that's it. That's actually it. That's the most uneventful shit I've actually ever heard in my fucking life before. I thought she was sleeping with strangers, sharing God in between the sheets. I mean, that's quite literally what the article said. However, I've been bamboozled. I've been duped. I've been fucking... I don't even know, man. I don't know what to think at the moment. Now, I'm not a religious expert by any means necessary, but I will say I've never heard of a religion that actually encourages women to show the booty hole and the boobies on the internet. In fact, they're actually like polar opposites. Most religions that I'm aware of anyways, it always encourages like chastity, saving yourself for your husband, only exposing yourself to your husband. Yeah, nothing I've seen or heard of has ever encouraged you to just put it all out there. Put it all out there for $5.99 a month and just see what happens, you know? I guarantee too, by the way, fellas, I guarantee she is not putting any of this money she makes from OnlyFans into the tithing bucket. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, fellas, the way that I see this situation, it's almost as if this OnlyFans model tried to open up something like cookies for kids with cancer. She places the cookie shop right in front of a bakery shop just to try and undercut their sales. Then, after she gets the money, she ain't done donating it to no charity. She don't care about them kids with cancer. That's how I feel about women or, or men too, you know, or anything else. If you want to be a goddamn broomstick, whatever you identify as today, whoever you are, if you're on OnlyFans, Fansly, any of those websites, you're promoting your own goddamn booty hole, your wiener, whatever. You're promoting all this type of content, but at the same time, you're trying to say that God wants you to do this. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think that's how it works. Okay. You need some goddamn help. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of you. Your support means everything to me. Which, by the way, if you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly, though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today we're going to be talking about Lana Rhodes and how she wishes that all of her adult content would be deleted off the internet. Here's the thing guys, I'm going to give you some advice that your own father probably wouldn't even say to your face. Every woman goes through what's called a hoe phase. I mean, this is just inevitable. It's literally part of life. In order for a girl to gain the status of becoming a woman, she has to go through this, okay? And if a woman ever tries to make the claim of like, well, I'm different. I didn't go through a hoe phase. Either that's bullshit and she's lying or she's actually just really fucking ugly and she couldn't, she literally couldn't get a dude to smash. Anyways, with that being said, some hoe phases, they last longer than others. Lana Rhodes, on the other hand, it just happened to last like, oh, I don't fucking know, like a goddamn decade? It literally lasted like a fucking lifetime for most people. Well, anyways, I'm sure most of you have at least heard of the big news. Lana got knocked up. She doesn't know who the dad of her child is. One day, this poor little kid's gonna pop out and start getting made fun of, and his mom is trying to prevent that. Now, having a baby when you're irresponsible, sometimes it actually does change you. I can't deny that. And that honestly seems to be the case for Lana as well because ever since she announced her pregnancy she's made a lot of changes I noticed the other day on her YouTube channel she deleted like all but four videos after I noticed all of Lana's YouTube videos went missing I decided to do a little bit of research of my own and after I jerked off I actually started looking for why she deleted these YouTube videos you know let's let's figure out what the real problem is here and I came across this article which says pregnant P star Lana Rhodes wants videos deleted to get her dignity back. Back. Former P-Star Lana Rhodes is going the Mia Khalifa way. 
Just weeks after announcing her pregnancy and due dates, Rhodes says that she wants all her old scenes deleted. The 24-year-old, who is an outspoken critic of the adult industry and has often opened up about her regrets of filming adult films, once again spoke about the lasting effects it has had on her life and mental health. This time around, she was on some stupid podcasts when Rhodes also spoke about motherhood and whether she is worried her child will go on to see the video content. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on this topic because I've actually made an entire video about it so if you want to watch that I'll leave a link to it down in the description below basically just to quickly summarize it though her kid is fucking doomed okay this poor kid he asked for none of this he doesn't deserve anything that's coming his way once he gets to middle school though it's over dude he's not gonna win a single argument in his life a good majority of people on the planet have seen his mother with a dick in her mouth at least at one point in their lifetime and Anytime this kid's winning an argument though, like you already know what's about to come out. We already know what's coming out on that iPhone and it's not going to be pretty bro. This is not necessarily something that any child should ever have to see. More importantly though, his brain is just going to be littered with it. It's literally going to be everywhere. That poor kid is going to have to face a lot of unprovoked bullying that truly he had nothing to do with and it's not his fault. Anyways, the article then goes on to say, during an appearance on a podcast, Rhodes said that she wishes she could go back and delete her videos. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the rights to do so. A lot of the videos I have no rights under, otherwise I probably would have deleted them all by now, she said. When asked whether she regrets her time in the industry, Rhodes says, I do. I honestly tell people if I could go back I would give up everything to have my dignity and respect back and for people to not be able to see me in that way the thing is though bro like that is such bullshit she would not take any of that back whatsoever maybe the videos but I guarantee she wouldn't happily give back all the millions of dollars she made in the industry although Lana Rhodes may be rich and hot famous and good at what she does for a living if you know anything about her she's kind of a snobby bitch bro okay Okay, I'm not being mean. I'm not being mean. I'm just being honest and truthful. She's kind of a snobby bitch, bro, and kind of stuck up now. Maybe she wasn't back when she was a child. I don't know where she came from in terms of like how her family did. But if you guys have ever listened to any of these podcasts that she's been on, she's pretty open about what she's looking for in a man. I mean, not only is she looking for a dude that makes six figures minimum, like bare minimum, she even goes as far as saying like she won't date someone if they eat carbs, if they eat bread and donuts and whatever else she's just not interested in them at that point now if she would have approached the situation and said well i'm not into dudes that are fat i could totally understand that but even like skinny guys guys that are in shape dudes who are muscular she's just not interested if you eat pasta and bread and if you're gonna try to sit here and convince me that this exact same woman would be perfectly fine giving up her rich and famous lifestyle all to have what her fucking dignity like now now she cares about her dignity on the internet why didn't you think about about that 300 dicks ago. But if you really think that Lana Rhodes could go back to working a nine to five job and just being a boring fucking person like the rest of us, yeah, that's just not gonna happen, bro. You're a fucking fool if you think that's the case. Like I mentioned earlier though, sometimes having a kid, it really does change your mindset and where you're at in life because now you have to provide for someone else as well. It's not, it's not as easy anymore. And also like we all make mistakes. We've all been there. We've all fucked up once or twice in our life, but you can't be adopted into this industry, right? Like you've spent your entire life. Lana got into this profession when she was 16 years old, which is really fucking disgusting. But anyways, you can't dedicate your entire life to this profession profession just to want to turn it around a couple years later that's just it's just not how it works when you build a platform on the internet especially across multiple platforms by the way you're not just big on the yellow youtube you're big on youtube instagram only fans like all these other places which actually speaking of now that i think about it she does have the option to delete her only fans it's not though it's still fucking up on the internet she's still out here charging 5.99 a month just to see the booty hole on the internet. So yeah, that's why whenever Lana says some dumb shit like this on the internet, you always gotta take it with a grain of salt because, you know, she doesn't really mean it. She might be saying it to get attention, to, you know, whatever, cause drama, but if she really meant what she said and that she desperately wants her dignity bag that fucking bad, she'd get rid of the OnlyFans. But the thing is, fellas, it makes money. 
It makes fucking money at the end of the day. That's what's influencing her decision. And now we have all these stupid ass simps on the internet that are praising her. She's so powerful and strong for what she's doing. Yeah, dude, no one fucking cares, okay? She's not gonna suck your dick because you tweeted at her. This is not a Buffalo Bills player, by the way. Just some random guy with like Stefan Diggs as his profile picture. He says, you're gonna be an amazing mom. You have done so much to live this successful life with all your businesses and podcast, which no longer exists, by the way. So happy you got to this amazing place and you get to be the mom you've always wanted to be. So much love, queen. Yeah, you're a fucking loser. You have no friends, by the way, little Timmy, okay? You might think you're pulling some big dick play right here, like, yo, boys, I'm a hop in Lana Rhodes' pants later tonight. Yeah, that, that's just, it's not gonna fucking happen, okay? In fact, you only got four likes on this tweet. You should just fucking delete it. It's sad. It's pathetic. Uh, but yeah, you guys will have to let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. Like I said, I think she's just out here playing these fucking fools like the violin. She knows what she's doing. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG, it's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It means everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, leave Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time, later. Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another video. Fellas, I'm not gonna lie, I got a couple drinks in me at the moment. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling real good, and I figured what better way to spend my Saturday night than making a YouTube video. Anyways, I was actually gonna hold off on making this because I wanted to reach out to this company we're gonna be talking about today. I liked their product, but I would have loved to give you guys an actual review because this is something I could use it, but it's kind of weird, man. When you're fornicating, with a woman, all right? Typically, fellas, take the goddamn socks off. It's just, it's fucking weird, dude. I'm not gonna lie. When people bang and they keep their socks on, like, imagine watching a... Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh my god, I almost dropped the P word right there. If you're watching an adult film and they happen to have socks on, like, tell me that ain't gonna be like fucking your uncle, okay? It's just weird, bro. Don't fucking do that. You know what? Before we get too far into this video, I need to show you guys the actual product. So at first, these might look like regular socks, but wait! But wait, fellas, there's more. These are actually called clap cleats. Instead, they are a sock that has rubber grippies on the bottom of them, and they also have toe cutouts where you can stick your fucking toes up in that bitch. So I'm sure you're sitting there asking yourself the question, Doc, what's the difference, man? What's the difference between wearing a normal pair of socks and some clap cleats? Well, fellas, let me explain to you, okay? I don't know if you've ever tried to make love to your sister before on a hardwood floor. It's not easy to do, and it doesn't, doesn't have to be your sister, okay? Let's make that clear. It could be any woman, man, or any object. I mean, hell, you could even fuck a goddamn moose if you really wanted to. But anyways, like I was saying, if you're on the hardwood floor, you're trying to do some thrusting, it's not really going to work out too well if you have socks on. First off, if you have your socks on, take them off, okay? You have goddamn skin on the bottom of your feet that will give you some traction unfortunately at the moment i do not own a pair of the clap cleats myself i would love to reach out to this company and do an honest review for you guys but i didn't see a good way to get in contact with the company so i just said Fuck it, you know what, let's just make a video on them anyways. Now when it comes to ordering products on the internet, there's one thing in particular I always look out for, and that is the company's mission statement. If you're out here trying to feed starving kids, I would love to purchase your product. However, if you're out here trying to dye fat bitches hair blue and make them feminists, you can just simply fuck the fuck off, alright? However, if we take a look at Clap Cleat's mission statement, I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. It says, to give you traction for the action, thrust for the lust, force to stay on course, but most importantly, so you can showcase your A-plus game. Now, fellas, I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? If I'm gonna do a review, it's gonna be an honest review from the doc. I took a goddamn oath for crying out loud. I'm not here to lie to the people. I have never once been in a situation where I felt as if my feet slipping was the reason for my poor performance, okay? Like I said earlier, it's already weird that you're trying to get in between the sheets with your socks on, but it would be 
even weirder if you tried to tell your girl like, hang on, babe, I'm about to pound the fuck out of you, but just give me two seconds. I need to run upstairs and grab my clap cleats. I'm not gonna lie, fellas. Currently, I'm just not convinced that these are worth the 20 bucks. Let's see if the company can continue to convince me though, all right? Question number two, why not get trampoline socks or hospital socks? We've worked in hospitals. We have nieces and nephews. Wait, what? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Are they trying to tell me that they use clap cleats on their nieces and nephews? That's kind of fucked up, bro. That's, that's kind of weird, man. Um, Sweet home Alabama. Anyways, those cheap socks cannot even compare to our socks. Those socks bunch up. Those socks lose grip fast. They are not inconspicuous. Point blank, they are ugly and not as effective. We have three different sized for a secure fit. Sleek design and great grip our socks will never bunch up like yeah that's great and all but how is this going to improve my life in the bedroom this is essentially the conversation we had as founders of clap cleats however the first hey wait a minute moment came after one of our co-founders rejoined the dating scene he just went through a long-term relationship breakup putting himself back out there he did what most people do get back into shape so while at the gym in the process of doing 500 pounds hip thrust jokingly one co-founder said damn you gotta hip thrust your way into these dates hearts huh he laughed and said i try but i don't get enough traction to drive the way i want to it's not like i can keep my sneakers on during fornication all right first off i like how he put the 500 pound hip thrust there as if that's like something fucking incredible it's almost like he thinks some girl is going to read this paragraph and figure out who the fuck is the ceo of this company company i need him to hip thrust his way into my pelvis if you're really gonna sit here and try to flex how much weight you be thrusting around at the gym at least include a selfie or something okay now i'm not trying to be rude when i say this but this whole testimony shit that i just read that actually gave me fucking aids that was really really bad it could have been something eventful like oh my god i was banging my girl my feet slipped out from under me my dick went into the floor i poked a hole in the floor something like that but you're just gonna sit here and tell me your buddy's like damn bro nice thrust like yeah okay miss me with that shit i don't even want to fucking hear about that shit all right but then you try to make the claim oh well i don't get enough traction to drive all 500 pounds of thrust force into my girl what are you guys having sex on bro is it fucking ice you guys out here trying to be fucking penguins or some shit and like if you're really having that many issues with traction in the bedroom they made this really cool thing before clap cleats it's a it's an even better product you could say it's called carpet it's called a fucking rug bro something to give you some fucking friction under your feet anyways at first i thought it would be a cool idea to get this product shipped to me for free so i could review it on youtube fuck that dude okay this shit's garbage do not buy this it's a gimmick okay it's like buying your friend a deal you really meant for it to be a gag gift and just something to get a laugh out of whenever you gave him the product. You didn't actually mean for him to like use it in his free time. I feel the same way about the clap cleats as well. I really just feel like the clap cleats are something you might give to your friend as a joke. You don't actually expect him to use them though. At least I would hope not, especially on a first date. Guys, you're better off talking about like fucking Star Wars anime or some shit. Don't be breaking out the clap cleats, all right? Don't be stopping in in the middle of making out to be like hang on babe let me put my socks on so i can shove this pipe up in your stomach all right and obviously no disrespect to anyone that works over at clap cleats llc i'm sure they're great people they like to have fun and party the product it just it speaks for itself it fucking sucks all right take the shit out behind the barn put it down do yourself a favor guys if you want to actually clap some cheeks take off the clap cleats do not be wearing any fucking socks when you are in the bedroom and guys I think with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. So uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to my fucking fantabulous, fucking amazing goddamn members. I love you guys so much. Uh, we have Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG, it's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. If you yourself watching this video right now would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. Click that blue join button next to my name. Uh, but more importantly, guys, be sure sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs oh my god i'm just gonna keep that in uh if you want to support the milfs leave a like on the video and i'll catch you guys next time later
right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're going to be talking about wings of redemption and his thoughts on the age of consent listen guys if you care about your reputation on the internet this is just not a good topic to talk about just avoid this at all costs hell even if you don't agree with the actual law wherever you live just say you do just say you know what man i think it's great where it's at anyways i guess wings of redemption didn't quite get that message because he thought you know what dude okay i'm just gonna put it all out there on the internet i'm gonna give my honest feedback here that might be the worst decision you could ever make in some instances that is all right i just want to clarify if you are a normal thinking human i mean if you guys are here on this channel you should be in the hot moms anyways don't even mess with these young kids dude it's fucking weird stop wasting your time go after the hot moms with big tits subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and without wasting any more goddamn time fellas let's get right into it so if you are not familiar with who wings of redemption actually is he's been on the website pretty much since day one at first he started off as a call of duty channel and in the last couple years he made a transition now he's pretty much just known for being a fat loser crybaby that lives in a shed in the middle of nowhere i'm not gonna lie wings of redemption gets bullied a lot okay you might think these kids at high school that watch like anime and star wars and fedoras and stuff you think they get bullied a lot just put yourself in wings of redemption shoes for literally like two hours it's bad dude okay even i can admit it is like really really fucking bad but i mean if i'm being completely honest here fellas it's for a pretty good reason wings is a fucking asshole at the end of the day i'm not gonna spend too much time on this topic but basically wings of redemption has stabbed everyone in the back that's tried to help him at one point in time he was actually like 650 pounds he's always going through depression i mean he lived a pretty rough life and he's also had a lot of people People that were close friends they reached out to him they donated money time effort you know they did all these things for him and he just turned around and stabbed him in the fucking back like the fool that he is and he still does it to this very day hell you could even donate five thousand dollars to this man over twitch right at some point in time he is going to ban you just because you say you don't like call of duty you don't like girls that are above the age of 18 in his case at least he's going to fucking ban you bro that's just the kind of guy he is he doesn't care about how much time or effort you donated to him in the past hell if you're not benefiting him right now at this very second i mean you might as well get the fuck out he's actually the one that started that phrase either subscribe donate or get the fuck out that was him anyways i'm sure you guys get the point by now wings does not exactly have the best reputation there is i mean i don't have tiktok but someone posted this screenshot if you look up his name on the app just take a look at the search results you're gonna get wings of redemption pedo kids accused gays kill age of consent these are not necessarily good topics you want your name surrounded by now let's take a look at his thoughts on the age of consent i made a point that the new generation of females are whores and that you have to be naive to think that girls Young girls aren't already having sex. I did say the age of consent should be 12. You know why I said that? Because growing up in high school, I knew girls that were like 12, 13, 14, fucking on the regular. Throughout the topic up. Remember I was like, we were brainstorming for topics and- Yeah, child porn. Child pornography is such a loosely based thing. Like, but like even 16 at 45, that I, I'd let that slide because a 16 year old can make her own damn decisions. I'd cut child so uh yeah there's that essentially wings of redemption is like the white edp if you know what i'm saying here hell you're probably not gonna fool this man with a cupcake but if you were to offer a bowl of wendy's chili it it literally might get him all right, so at first I was gonna try and reason with Wings. I wanted to hear him out on what his actual reasoning was behind this. I can't, bro. I just fucking can't, okay? It's like trying to listen to a retarded moose speak. You're just not ever going to be on the same page. Like, I understand. He's a sad, fat fuck, okay? He will never amount to anything in society. It's sad. It's pathetic. It is what it is, though. With that being said, that doesn't mean it's acceptable to think like this, okay? These girls are fucking young 
long, dude. They are playing on the jungle gym. Hell, they're fucking out there playing hopscotch right now. Now, this post actually started going pretty viral over on Reddit, and Wings actually came out and made a statement himself. He says, This is me, and the clip I was responding to was something I said on PKA back in 2010. For those of you that don't know, PKA is a podcast Wings used to be on before he fucked over the guys that run the show, and they cut him. I get harassed daily by internet trolls, and this clip is me being frustrated and explaining myself poorly. I don't approve of child pictures, nor do I think you should be interested in children. There, I'll just phrase it like that. I also would like to point out this comment got almost 9,000 downvotes. Clearly, people are pissed. They're not okay with what Jordy Jordan's out here saying. So that clip that I just showed you guys, that was not from PKA, the podcast. In fact, that was actually from Wings of Redemption's own Twitch stream. Essentially, he claims that he made a comment referring to this on PKA in the very next day during his own stream. He was trying to justify his comments. And that's why he made the statement like, oh, well, I saw these girls sucking dick behind the bleachers. The thing is, it doesn't fucking work like that. All right, dude. And more importantly, I actually got visual evidence of you saying this two days ago. On October 2nd, you said this. I did say the age of consent should be 12. You know why I said that? I knew girls that were like 12, 13, 14. Fucking on the regular. It has nothing to do with me being a pedophile. When I was in 8th grade, which is 12, if you want to get to that technical, 8th grade, we had girls that got, got caught, you know, sucking dick under the bleachers. But I'm trying to rationalize why it was said. And, like, all this is going to do is make me have to delete this stream, too, because they're actually baiting you. Like, that's just fucking inexcusable at this point. Hell, the FBI needs to check your computer, bro. You need some mental help. You need to see a goddamn doctor. If there is one person that is fucked up in the head, it's you. It's fucking you, bro. Honestly, I think the saddest part of this whole situation is that all these clips you're seeing on the internet, all these outlandish things that you're seeing is just him being himself. This is an ordinary day for Wings. It's nothing out of the blue. Now, I will say he's proactively out there taking down videos with this clip in it. I gotta be careful. I can only show so many seconds in this video. I apologize if it doesn't quite get the story across for some of you I would love to show more but I just I gotta be careful man I can't risk I can't risk losing my channel to some fat ass loser on the internet that likes him young all right I'm just I'm not even gonna mess with that now I understand that some people online they like to make edgy jokes you know things like oh if her age is on the clock she's ready to take this I'm sure you guys can take a pretty good guess where that sentence was headed, but anyways, like I was saying, I understand people make edgy humor, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's too far. This ain't humor though, this is how Wings actually thinks. It's almost like hanging out with some weird kid at school, and he starts making, you know, like an AK-47 in the backpack kind of joke, and then he keeps making it day after day after day, and eventually you start to catch on like, okay bro, you've made one too many AK jokes in the school, you know, I, I don't really feel comfortable being around you that's kind of the same thing with wings though there's just way too many clips out there of wings saying this stuff but more importantly he then tries to justify it he then tries to justify why it's okay to fornicate with a 12 year old it's fucked anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members here we have a b manu Shiron. Dude, I'm so sorry if I butchered your name, all right? Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG It's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell of you. Your support means everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Oh, and one last thing. Hey, Wings, you're still fat!